when there was one, that one was peace, was harmony, was joy. This was balance, but the balance of one pole, positivity. We call this heaven, Eden. This can be seen as a single point with an energy field surrounding it. That field being seen as a zero or a circle. We could even see three energy paths making it the Holy Trinity. Self-sufficient and eternal, all on its own. Trinity can also be seen as an inverted Y. Or even a pyramid with a beam out the top. May we imagine a blue beam. We read the fall happened. Or we read the one became two. Like cells splitting. Almost like the sun birthed the moon. So from our one positive pole and the wall was created. A pull here and a push there. Easy to visualise with a second point appearing. And the energy field splitting itself between the two poles. This would change the zero or circle into an infinity shape. Within holds the number nine and the letter G lowercase. The nine associated with positivity. This splitting energy can be seen in the day with the day and the night. So many hours sunlight and so many hours darkness. With 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness. But that changing throughout the year will be seen as the battle between light and dark. More light hours followed by more darkness, followed by more light hours, giving the impression of a battle. In winter, the cold darkness winning, and in the summer, and warmth, the light winning. The year the same, and shows the story of creation, spring, creation, beauty, pureness, summer, growth, warmth, and most importantly, reproduction, seen as sin, Adam and Eve, after the fall, autumn, the demise, to the start of destruction, before the winter comes the death, the cold, before again creation starts. This is the same for civilizations. They start off with pure intense small spring, then grow into something rich and powerful summer. At its peak it starts to decline for any of many reasons. Autumn, before its destruction, winter, for a new civilization to rise from the ashes, spring. Everything natural and man-made seems to follow this cycle, this pattern. Inverted, the snake biting its own tail. When we invert the shape or mirror it, the nine turns to a six and potentially a capital G, associated with cults. Interesting, this also reminds me of the logo used for the World Cup in Qatar. And also currency, which we relate to money, not power or energy but can also be seen in the shape, but altered, seemingly broken. Scripture for me explains this as above, so below. The top being God's creation and the bottom being a mirrored version of that. The God of that being worshipped as the original, but he's pretending to be so. This a world of mirrors and illusion, a refracted reflection of the truth. The world of the six, the world of the six God as Drake calls him. Drake being a fire-breathing dragon. The true God is the Nine God. The infinity symbol also makes the inverted Y with the addition of a Y a squatter man like symbol. As I've said, the squatter man is a symbol for the makeup of the realms, a pattern of life. This other pole, the opposite to the original pole, the energy split between two having to pass both through the positive and negative poles. When passing through the negative poles, it receiving its charge. When passing through the positive pole, it receiving that charge. In turn, the surrounding field feeling that charge. It needs to be seen as 4D and the energy passing through the points like they are holes. Almost like a torus field or a dual torus field. The points being holes we will later discuss as goals. A sport follows this exact same pattern. As when energy passes through one hole or goal, it hits or passes through or over the net. Possession is then given to the opposing field. This is why in sports such as football, the ball, the energy, in our case the earth, starts off in the center, then is moved by one team or force before the team shoots and either scores or misses the goal. If they score, the ball passes into the goal or past the net. It is then returned to the centre or to the other team or force before it's played in their half of the field. In regards to misses, this would be when the energy doesn't pass through one of the two poles or goals, but another path of point. 
like the energy moving around the atom or symbol like item whose energy moves around various paths and only particular points on that path holding relevant power such as scoring the goal or passing through the hole. As sports of all types are imitating the happenings of life, the battle between the two poles, the two forces known as dark and light, good and bad, God and the devil. The aim of all teams is to take control of the game, to retain possession and score a goal. But possession often passes hands and it's never always with one team. And even when one team has possession, the other team still has a chance to score if that other team makes a mistake. The battle between good and evil. I also see in the shape a Y and an X like the DNA chromosomes and if we kept making points going down there's no point can be made above the original point. It would end up creating a DNA shape and also the spinal column. It's easy to see how the spinal column is used to show the steps to God. This multiplication is similar to how cells split off and makes me question is each circle a section a realm of reality, a copy of creation of the circle from above. It would be like a Russian doll scenario where from one another came, all connected but separate. With us, the next step maybe this is virtual reality or AI creating a world from our own world, ourselves in a reality offshooting from another one. It could be very well possible there are more poles or points. It makes sense for there to be at least three, a middle, top and bottom, positive, negative and neutral, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, and even further, Father, Son and Mother, Sun, Earth and Moon. It also looks like the Olympic rings if we push it to the side. If we pass, one single line through all points, it creates an S. Maybe Satan. Another S is the chest on the chest Superman. Hidden within, we can also see 666. The three points can also be seen in most sports, such as football and basketball, as the field has two goals in the center spot. Even in tennis, the two players stand on opposing sides with a net in the middle, creating the three. In basketball and football, the ball travels around the field of pitch before ending up at one of these three spots. Two of the spots being goals and holes for the ball to pass in or through before returning to the centre point or to the opposition. As said, this needs to be seen in 4D and could be seen with an atom or other like configuration with two points of that atom being goals, the centre being the nucleus. The energy is passed around different paths and routes on its way to holes or goals, as explained when done returning to the centre. This could be seen as the force of God is the referee, placing the earth, the ball inside the field, to be passed around by good and evil, the home and away team in a competitive but fair match with laws and rules for one force or team to come out on top. If we look at the passes placed and the goals scored in an average game, we can see the shape it forms in both basketball and football. The same can be said with tactics and plays used in sports. It's similar to the paths that energy takes. Another thing with sports and tourist fields, the stadiums look exactly the same. The stadiums are showing the makeup of our realm. It having an open top which can be covered and open the same as a dome, which may explain fruit from above. We are the spectators in the stadium that cheers on the game of life, mostly none of the players. We simply are influenced by the forces of life on the pitch which are positive or negative and react to those forces, cheer and boo the events of life of Earth, the realm, cheering and booing the players affecting the game, the light and the dark. A cycle the Earth is on just like a time period in any sport. Every game has a set period in which it has to play, set rules and laws which can be broken but if done so the fouling player or team are punished accordingly. The pitch where the game takes place the battle takes place is at the centre. The centre of the well, where the spectators are not allowed, on the pitch or in the centre while the game is being played. It sometimes may feel we are in control of the game but mostly we are not. Although our energy can influence the players and the game, this for us is the centre of our realm where we are not allowed, kept around the edges by barriers, also kept within the staging by walls. Similar to the images we see of the Fountain of Youth, a sacred place, untouched. Side point, there are many analogies for the fountain, physical and spiritual, it can be found within. 
as well as without. Note there are many games in a season and the years they are played in. One game is merely one battle, the war is never ending. So we may be here to spectate for a great game or a boring one. Either way, whether the home team win or lose, whether light or dark win, there are more games to come. Dark may be winning the battle, but it doesn't mean light of loss. Generally, the home team are more supported and stand more of a chance as they are at home. But as there are two poles, games have to be played at home and away. Each team is respectively seen as a home team and an away team depending on the fans and where it's played, where the energy is. When the energy passes through a hole or pole, it creates an effect. In sports, this is the war of the fans, the glow of the lights and maybe fireworks. In physics and energy, this would appear as a halo or a crown and glow. This is why the winners of the season are crowned champions. Crowned champions. Life is much like football when we look at it. A team, let's say, God's team, won last season, but may start off the season poor. The team from last season, one of Satan's team, came a close second and are now above them in the table. As time goes on, the matches are played. God's team come back and win the league before starting it all again. The starting it all again and the end of the season could be seen as a reset and all the matches that are played and the battles here on earth fought over the years that determine which team wins the league. But as we know it's a cycle and the cycle repeats itself over and over. Yes there's a winner this year but there'll be a different winner next year or potentially the same winner. Teams. Maybe we can see them as two sets of opposites that differ in appearance. Just like in the world, evil comes in many shapes and forms. Many different teams work into the same agenda. The same for good, many variations of good and light. Not on the same teams as such, but working for the same aim. Like in most cities, we have two teams which create two poles of division. The only way to get around this is not to support either team to be neutral. But that's not to say the energy of those two poles still won't affect you in some way, shape or form. This reminds me of the old story when a dad takes his child to a football game and the dad asks the son, who do you want to win? And the boy says, I want the team that wins to win. Ultimately, the boy didn't care. He wasn't set to a pole yet. He was neutral. This leads me on to the two poles also being two towers. We see this in many arts and followings and cults. But when the Twin Towers were blown up in 2001, maybe this was a representation of the two poles being damaged which ultimately would cause chaos. In sports, the energy of the ball would have no aim or goal, it would just keep travelling around. Due to keep travelling around, it would exhaust itself. Because the ball or energy has to pass through the hole of goal to get recharged, represented by the cheer of the crowd. If there were no goals, the players would exhaust themselves in the same way and the game would end up a disaster with the components that move the energy weakening until failing. Ultimately, with no goals or holes, no play or movement would continue, everything would stop. And maybe we saw this physically in the world with the lockdown. Everything would slow before coming to a standstill, before slowly moving again. Like the slow process of coming out of the lockdown for things to attempt to continue. But for things to be normal, the poles have to be fixed, the one or two towers. Natural damage or man-made damage. The two towers from our reality were damaged in a man-made way. If the poles were damaged naturally, you would expect them to fix themselves naturally. But if man-made, maybe they have to be fixed by man. Even worse to think that the poles were damaged for one pole to be fixed and used more, and that pole the negative one. If that was the case, we are heading to a worse place. But the counteraction for this is to build another pole for balance or duality, and even further for the destruction of the negative pole to return to the first pole for balance, peace, beauty and harmony. Natural and man-made, that is the way that we must go.
England, the number eight, and energy. So here's the infinity symbol. It's like an eight. The infinity symbol, a figure eight on its side, variously signifies the concept of limitlessness or eternity, especially as used in mathematics and metaphorically with respect to love. Now let's look at the meta logo which is all about humans living forever in the meta universe it's that eight again just like the infinity symbol so england just went out in the last day of the world cup again and have now been knocked out in the last day more than any other nation they got knocked out eight days before the end of the world cup France's number eight gave France a 1-0 lead in the game that knocked England out of this World Cup in the last eight and he gave away the first penalty that led to England's only goal of the game and their last goal of the World Cup. So in Gematria guys, Queen gets you 26 and 62. 26 plus 62 gets you 88. So the Queen is so connected to 26 and 62. Undeniable guys. She was born in 26. She became the queen on February the 6th, 26. Her father died on 26. Her mother died at age 101, the 26th prime. She died two months and six days before King Charles's birthday. King Charles, her eldest son. England were knocked out of the World Cup 26 days after King Charles turned exactly 888 months old. Elizabeth was coronated in 1953 on 6-2 and 1,953 is the 62nd triangular number. England won their opening World Cup game 6-2 versus Iran, scoring after 35 minutes. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 2 plus 6 equals 8. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Coronated in 53, 5 plus 3 equals 8. And of course, Harry Kane stayed on 53 England goals just like Rooney who began his Man United career wearing number 8. So King Charles turned 74 years old six days before the World Cup began and England went out of the World Cup in what was their 74th World Cup game and they have the six most all-time World Cup points. 74 years is exactly 888 months. 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 24 and 2 times 4 equals eight. Kobe Bryant so synced up with the royal family, King Kobe, the crown tattoo, drafted in 96. Elizabeth died at age 96, the list goes on. Kobe wore number eight and number 24 during his NBA career. Two times four equals eight. So Leo Messi, Leo like lion, his first ever World Cup goal was after 88 minutes, which was in 2006. Two plus zero plus zero plus six is eight. And his 8th World Cup goal was after 64 minutes and 8 times 8 equals 64. 6 times 4 equals 24. 2 times 4 is 8. Queen Elizabeth was born exactly 1,776 days after Prince Philip. Remember the Illuminati were founded in 1776. The Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776. The 888 plus 888 equals 1776 France's goal scorers in this game that knocked out England in the last eight were number eight and number nine the Queen died on 8-9 89 is the 24th prime and 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 24 and 2 times 4 equals 8 8 divided by 9 equals 0 0.8888888 England went out to an Olivier Giroud goal who scored exactly 42 weeks before his birthday. 4 times 2 equals 8. Interesting logo for the World Cup, eh? Very interesting logo. I believe that sports stadiums are energy harvesters and that is why they hold events called matches. A match creates a spark via the force of friction. Are these events called matches? due to the friction created and generated by the opposing players and fans? Are these stadiums collecting human energy? I often hear coaches, players and commentators focus on the importance of the crowd's energy. 
These energy harvesting rituals go all the way back to gladiators battling to the death in the Colosseum. The more drama in these matches, the more energy the fans release, which explains why so many games are ultra dramatic. Even the shape of most stadiums and sports arenas are like portals and maybe the crowds are the batteries to power the stadium portals. The structure of sports stadiums is designed like a dish antenna or satellite dish so if you get a sellout crowd to a sports game with people cheering that is a lot of energy focused on one sport and that energy has to go somewhere. There is a reason why the spectator is charged a fee to enter. It is really interesting when you consider the sports arenas usually have two different teams playing against each other. Positive and negative, you could say the referee is neutral, like a battery, and during the match, the current is alternating because one is always doing better than the other. Back and forth, back and forth. The winning team with its fans receives the positive energy, whereas the losing team receives the negative energy. The big question is who or what is harvesting our energy and why do they need to? I believe without harvesting our energy, this system will collapse. I also believe that energy is being absorbed by Satan and his minions, who for me determine the outcomes of these high profile games. More 888 fans. This is remarkable, guys. So Kobe Bryant, he died exactly 888 days after the solar eclipse of August the 21st, 2017. This shows you how big astrology is, guys. I've discussed in the past about ritual sacrifices connected to the moon. 8-21-2017. Kobe died 1-26-2020 with Gianna. Exactly 888 days after the great American eclipse. Remarkable. Now look at this, an image that I just found the day I did this code. Look how many views it has, 8.88 thousand views, 888. The length, 3 minutes 40 seconds, Kobe died with 340 days left in the year. How many likes does the video have, 26, Kobe died the 26th day of 2020. This is simply mind-blowing and God guiding me at this point. What are the chances of that? I'm telling you this 821 is huge. August the 21st, 821. Maradona. Eight goals in 21 World Cup games. 821 is the 142nd prime. 14 2 is Valentine's Day. Christian Eriksen's birthday, who had a cardiac arrest. Valentine's Day is connected to hearts. Diego Maradona died of a heart attack in 2020, the year that Kobe Bryant died. So Kobe began his NBA career wearing number 8 and ended his NBA career wearing number 24. 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 24. Kobe Bryant and Gianna Bryant died exactly 888 weeks after Kobe's eldest daughter, Natalia Diamante Bryant was born. Diamante like diamond. 888 weeks, guys. Are you kidding me? Natalia Diamante Bryant, okay? Currently 19 years old, the 8th prime. Born on the 19th day of January in 2003. Like I said, 19 is the 8th prime. It's why Kobe Bryant got accused of raping a 19 year old. The 8th prime. This is just remarkable. It really is. It really is. This needs to be shared guys. All of these finds, they need to be shared with the world. They're remarkable. And I thank God every single day for allowing me to reveal these undeniable patterns, guys. Undeniable patterns. All right, guys, much love and take care.